Okay, so figure this figure shows a rod with both ends at different temperature. Okay, the right half, uh, the right half. The right half of the rod is insulated, while the left half is not insulated. So you see the this here is insulated. Uh, okay, right down here. So this this part this is insulated. The right half is insulated, whereas the left half is not insulated. Uh, here is not uh, insulated. Okay. So sketch a uh, graph of temperature against distance. So this one is uh, temperature versus uh, distance graph. Okay. Uh, there are actually two ways of drawing. You want to start from the 100 degrees Celsius. Normally we start from 100 degrees Celsius, go to 27 degrees Celsius. Yeah, because the heat always flow from 100 to 27. Yeah. Okay, just want to draw. Clarify one thing, the heat always come from the hot to uh, cold. Uh, always come from hot to cold. Uh, this is the direction of heat flow. This direction of heat flow. Okay. So uh, this one this one should be the this one should be the uh, initial point. Um, Okay, this one should be the initial point and this one should be the final point. Okay, um, so how are you going to draw the graph? You want to start from here, the cold or the hot. Okay, uh, normally we start from the hot. Uh, we start from the hot. Okay, uh, let's draw it out. Okay, let's draw it. Yeah, so we must label. Okay, this is the temperature. Uh, we are using degree Celsius. Uh, be careful with the unit is using degree Celsius. So you must label degree Celsius. Okay. And then the X, not given anything about the unit. So just put meter. Um, right. So we should label. So we label the uh, initial temperature 100 degree, uh, 100 degree Celsius. Yeah, because we, we we start from here. Uh, although the graph is, you know, uh, we start from here because uh, heat always flow from hot to cold. So hot is always the initial point. Yeah, so we put we start from high temperature lah. Yeah, we we assume this one is our initial point and this is this is our final point. Okay, our final point is uh, over here. Let's say. Uh, okay. So that's how we do it. Okay. So now, uh, and then we can break uh, the graph into two parts. Okay, you can break it into two parts. Yeah, break it equally. Okay. So uh, this part is our this this part is insulated. Uh, this part is in uh, insulated area. Insulated rod. And this part is uh, non insulated rod. Okay. Uh, non insulated rod. This is insulated and this is non insulated rod. Okay. Then we draw this divider. Okay. So, how are we going to draw? How are we going to draw? So, for insulated, Insulated is uh, the graph is straight line. Yeah, it's straight line. For non insulated, it's a curve. Do you remember? I uh, see well insulated is a straight line, but for non insulated, it's a curve. It's a curve. Yeah, uh, because um, this one the gradient remain constant all the time because the rate of heat flow is the same for both sides. Yeah. So uh, the gradient remain constant, but this one the rate of heat flow decreasing because the gradient also de that's why the de gradient also decreasing the gradient of the d dx. So insulated is straight line, non insulated is a curve. So uh, let's draw it. Yeah, let's draw this. Uh, this is insulated over this part and non insulated here. So insulated this one is straight line. This one is a curve. 
So let's draw it out here. Yeah? Let's draw it out. So it becomes like that. Oops, sorry. I should use the shape better like this way. Like that. Okay. After that, just draw a curve. Uh, okay. That's it. Okay. So uh this is our um Okay, so this is our temperature at the joint. Okay. Uh so insulated is a sorry, insulated is a straight line and uh, non-insulated is a uh, curve okay so that's all for um, uh, this graph